All right, it's cold. What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Spider Garage. We're gonna be working on something a little bit different today. A bus. Yeah, a freaking bus. Why are we working on a bus, you may ask? Well, as you guys know, watching Nathaniel kind of learn different things in the garage and, and uh, building his skill set, learning how to weld, how to fabricate, all of that was to teach him something that he may use for his job someday. I don't know what he wants to do for a living. Right now, welding is kind of where he's pointing at. And so why not take on the largest project you could ever take on? <laughs> By raising the roof on a bus. So here's what we're gonna do. By the way, you may be asking yourself, how in the heck did you end up with a bus? Well, this belongs to my oldest stepdaughter, Bailey. Uh, I'll introduce her later. And she has been working pretty hard on this thing over the last several weeks since she bought it, stripping it out. You can see the roof has been taken out, the insulation, the seats were already out, but she's been um, slowly detaching and cutting off all the rivets around the outside and, uh, and stripping this thing down. Pretty soon we'll be cutting up here, but before we actually cut the hat channels and the roof, we've got to make some brackets with some all thread that Nathaniel's got in his hand right there. Yep. And some strap metal here. We'll show you what we're gonna do with that later. And we're gonna weld on each of the four corners. And then that's gonna be the brace that holds this thing in place as we raise the roof later, probably in, uh, on a different day. We had to pick the coldest, windiest day today. As you can see, the windows are now already out of here. So the breeze is just blowing right through here. Yep. So we're gonna go in a garage where there's no breeze and it's a little bit warmer. And we're going to start making these brackets. So here we go. All right, here's what we got going on. This is our welding table. Thanks to Chris. Thank you very much, Chris. Appreciate that. We finally get to use it. Here are four 36 inch long pieces of all thread. Um, here's some three eighths by two inch plate steel. We're going to cut it down. Here's an old, uh, an old barbell I had that I used as kind of leverage. We'll have to straighten it back out, but we're gonna cut this and this into four and a half inch long pieces. Um, we got some nuts, we got some washers, and here is the plan. Um, so here is the bus hat channel. These are the sections that are in between each window. We're gonna take that tube, cut it to a four and a half inch long length. We're gonna take that plate steel, cut it to four and a half inches, weld the two together, and then weld that plate to the bus hat channel itself. We're gonna take this strap metal, this old barbell tube, that's pretty thick gauge, by the way. It should be fine. I'm gonna have to straighten this out a little bit, but we're gonna cut them down to four and a half inch long pieces, just because, math, it's, it's even. It's a 36 inch long piece. All right, we got all those pieces cut into roughly four and a half inch sections. So there's all of our plates we need. Now we gotta weld that to this once we cut this into four and a half inch sections. We already got it straightened out. We stuck it up here, took a bolt out of my rotisserie here and just kept using the force of that to bend it up. So it's straight enough for what we need, especially once we cut it down to shorter pieces. So now we cut this thing up.
All right, we are ready to weld. Eight little coupons cut here. Eight little tubes of my old barbell we sacrificed for this job. Ground down so we have a good clean surface to weld against. And uh, we'll test it out here a little bit. This is pretty, this is three eighths inch thick metal here. And uh, this is pretty thick gauge as well, probably at least 14. Yeah, so. See how well this tiny thing does. Yeah, this is not a super strong welder. Um, so we'll play around with it. Try to get those welded on there. Probably end up making multiple passes, to be honest, once you get it set. Yeah. That worked? Yep. Awesome. Should be good to go All right. Have at it. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yep. Killed the circuit. Afraid of that. <laughs> oh no, we got it turned up too high. Uh oh. It's going to be a short day if this keeps happening. Yeah, that's not a good way to start. But... Hmm. Nice, dude. Not bad. <laughs> Not bad. I'd say that's pretty, pretty excellent. Yeah, I got not the straightest. Well, it's, it's definitely gonna hold. A wire brush somewhere? Uh, it's down there. I see it down there. Yeah, not the straightest. <laughs> that's still an excellent weld. Good job. Thanks. You've come a long way. <laughs> Most excellent. All right, just do that uh, 15 more times. Check out the finished product. Bam. Look at those welds. Double weld on that one just to experiment a little bit. Mm -hmm. A little bit of splatter, but okay. dude, those things are beautiful. Yeah. Okay. Good job. Is it hot? No. Okay, I can touch this one earlier. You see that white dead skin right there? Yeah, that was me grabbing one earlier. I can't feel yeah. the... Right can't, after I welded it. Yeah, right after I welded I can't feel my thumb and that finger right there, so... That was my... My bad. Anyway, these things are gorgeous. Cool. We'll get them welded onto the uh, bus here in a little bit. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to take a break and get something to eat. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, getting hungry. And uh, go in and warm up a little bit. Mm-hmm. All right, back from getting something to eat and warming up because it's cold out here. So we're going to take these 
And the symbol, what you see up here, we're not gonna weld it to the bus tonight. We'll do that another day, maybe tomorrow. But uh, we're gonna take the all thread, the nuts and the washers, put this together. Just like Nathaniel's doing there. Yeah, it's kind of a slow process. <laughs> all right, that's a good cue for a time lapse if you ask me. And voila, that's what they look like. Pretty cool. Tomorrow we'll weld them on. Yep. All right, see you guys tomorrow. Welcome back, it's the next day. I don't know why we picked the coldest days to work outside, but we really didn't have a choice, to be honest. We're back out here at the bus. And Bailey and Nathaniel are inside, just getting things kind of cleaned up. First, before we start welding those tabs on today, We've got this big tarp that came off a semi truck uh, that we <laughs> picked off the side of the road, believe it or not, it fell off a truck, but we think it's gonna work. Um, we're gonna put it on top and cover all that wind because we can't really weld in the wind. It's not gonna, it's gonna blow the gas and uh, not gonna let us weld very well. So first things first, we're gonna get this thing on the bus and then we'll try to weld. fun not was that fun bailey huh? was that fun no no <laughs> it wasn't fun it's too cold and as you guys saw the wind blew it off once we uh, got it up there and we had to do it again all right what was next All right, we're all set up. Roof is covered. Welder's inside the bus. Nathaniel's got all of his gear. He's already ground down the first spot he's gonna weld. I guess all we can do is just try it and see if it works. Go for it, dude. pop a circuit <laughs> okay so here's what's happening we knew it was going to happen but that long extension cord out there with the other halogen light plugged into it and the welder is popping a circuit every few seconds so all i'm doing is standing here and actually it won't even turn back on there we go turning this back on every few seconds he tries to weld five four three two one, I can hear it. Actually, I can hear it buzzing. It'll buzz for five or six seconds. Yeah, it's working. And there it goes. Yeah, this is not working out so well. Oh, come on. There we go. I just realized that's only a 15 amp circuit. He just started welding. I can hear it buzzing. It's number 17. And it's got a long extension cord. And there it goes. It lasted like five or six seconds. Yeah, this is not gonna work. All right, I couldn't film Nathaniel welding any of that because I had to be inside constantly flipping the breaker. Yeah. Discovered that it's only a 15 amp circuit, not 20. And, oh gosh, look at that. 
since yeah. you had to stop so many times and it kept yeah it looks awful on you. yeah it looks awful yeah well we're not gonna blame you for that all right well we uh what we did was we took the cord and ran it to my garage plugged it into a 20 amp circuit still not ideal having this long extension cord we're gonna try it now and see if this works any better Last one. Hey, welcome back guys. It's been a few weeks since we talked to you guys last. We're back out here on the bus today. It's 35 degrees outside. It's cold, it's a little wet, but it's not windy yes. like it was the last time. <laughs> so better welding weather. Well, without the wind anyway. Everything else about today kind of sucks. But we're back at it. We're gonna work on uh, getting all these box tubing sticks welded back up. And then we got a couple more to put in here because we didn't put any of those in there last time. I'm not sure why. Uh, we got to fill in that gap right there. And at some point, I don't think we'll do this today, but we're going to cut the rest of this roof off right here. This whole part actually gets cut right along here. It started right there and this gets removed. And then we got to create some kind of an angled transition right here. And I think we'll do that another day because what we got to do today is going to take up pretty much all day for that. Yeah. We are currently changing our spool of wire. We've already run out of spool today. I had to go make an emergency run to go get a brand new spool of 11 pound spool of 030. It's funny, I asked you earlier today what our status of the wire was, because I knew we'd been doing a lot of welding. Yeah. And you said, yeah, it's getting a little low. We could probably use it. So I hit the road to go get one. And then you got, you gave me a call like a half hour later when I was yeah. almost ready to pull in the driveway of the place <laughs> and you'd run out. Yep. So good thing we uh, did that today before everything closed because it's Saturday, nothing's open tomorrow, and we got a lot to get done. Yeah. All right, so Nathaniel had a really good idea. We've been having trouble painting uh, these outside sections because we painting. forgot to grind. Painting? Did I say painting? Yes. Welding. <laughs> Welding these outside sections because there's still paint 
uh, underneath and we're not welding directly to bare metal on uh, one part of it there. So he's gonna try to grind it down with this little cheek poker here. So good luck. Oh yeah, too easy. Yeah. We should have done that. Like yeah, I nine, nine hours. Nine hat chance, like, hat channels ago. Yeah. All right. Well, have at it, buddy. Nathaniel's taking off some of this foam seal that was on the outside the windows on the hat channels because it doesn't really uh, doesn't like welding. Doesn't like welding very well. It kind of melts. And catches on fire. Mm -hmm. okay. So yeah, there's a couple hat channels we missed. We forgot to scrape it off. So we'll do that now. It's a good weld, right? Yeah. Like you gotta it. take pictures of it. Yeah, occasionally. Occasionally, yeah. Well, dang it. That's the end of welding today. I screwed things up. Nathaniel was welding the very last hat channel, and I went to move this welder a little bit closer because it was getting too far away, and when I did, this hose is attached to the tank, and I pulled the tank over because it has no support, and it fell over on top of this thing. In fact, it dented it up a little bit, but it landed on this, and it broke my hose. Tomorrow is Sunday. I don't know if there's a place I can go to get a new hose or not. Um, but if not, we'll have to wait till Monday because we got no gas right now. So end of the day today. Great day though. Nathaniel welded for over eight hours today. So boy's getting good. Every little weld, it gets a little bit better each time. So if we don't uh, find that piece tomorrow, we'll see you guys on Monday. Hey everybody, back out here again today on a, what is it today, a Monday? Monday? On a Monday, during Christmas break. Yep. So it gives us plenty of time to get a lot more done on the bus here. Nathaniel's back at it. It's a little bit windy, so we got kind of a windbreaker built up here with our welding blanket. We're getting the last of the hat channels done today, and then uh, once we get done with this, I think we'll move back here. We got one more hat channel to finish weld here. One to put in there, and then we gotta figure out what to put in as a cross beam across right there. So we'll figure that out here shortly. Yep. Back at it. All right, we are done for today. Yeah. Can't really see it, but I uh, can't see anything actually. We'll just uh, take our word for it. Yeah. All of ours on the uh, hat channels are all fully welded and now we started working on along the back of the bus here. Got two out of the three bars, uh, vertical bars welded up. We might put some cross support in there. We're not sure yet. Probably, yeah. I think it'd be good so it doesn't flex left and right. So anyway, too dark to tell you much about it. So we'll come back next time and Show ya. Good night. Hi. It's cold. What's up? Yeah. We're gonna cut this roof off. Right there.
lots in the way. It's out. Yep. What's that? I don't know. I tend to break gas lines when I do that. <laughs> so we're working on this door. It has flexed a little bit because we took all of its structural support away when we raised the roof. So we have got a boxed in tube here. Got it C-clamped in. We've got these two pulled together so it's flush here and it matches this. And that's what we're gonna do for starters. And then we gotta kind of flex this thing in a little bit more because it's having a little bit of trouble shutting. So that first, that next, and then hopefully this thing will open and close like it should. I like your face shield. I can even see what you're doing. Barely. Barely, yeah. What's up guys, back again today. It is three degrees outside, three. It's cold, but we've got time to get this done and we just gotta take advantage of the little time we got. Nathaniel's back from Christmas break. We got a bar to do right there, that way. Got a straight bar across there. And then these three bars right here, We've got to actually kind of space them out a little bit because these are just uh, structural bars, but they're not out to the uh, the width that they should be. So we'll figure that out and weld in some sort of a spacer here in a little bit if we don't freeze to death. Back out again today. Wind chill was negative 11 this morning. Yeah. Perfect day to work on the bus, isn't it, bud? Yeah. Gonna weld in the, I think what's gonna be the last support right here above the door. Okay. And then we should be skinning this thing with sheet metal in the next couple days. See your breath. Yeah. <laughs> it is cold.
last one. Hey, we're done welding. We just took a look at the back here and kind of convinced ourselves that we really don't need to weld any other support back here. The sheet metal is 20 gauge and should probably support itself just fine. If not, then we'll weld in something. Yeah, yeah, we'll sandwich something in after the fact, but uh, from all indications, should be good. I think we're okay. It's kind of a cool moment and sad at the same time. <laughs> All that work. Proud of you, bud. Yeah. You did good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Another day, more progress. It is six degrees out here and windy. This piece fell over here today. Unfortunately, you can see that little ridge right there. That's because this piece fell over like a wilted flower and uh, bent the metal. Not much we can do about it. It's not meant to be perfect. That little dent right there, that was there when we got the metal, unfortunately, it was not, it wasn't us same dent that's back there they were all dented at the same time anyway it's progress it's never meant to be perfect it's going to have windows on the side of it pretty soon anyway to kind of break it up so it's getting there i'm gonna go inside and warm up now and that's where we stopped filming two years ago let me turn the camera around and show you where the bus is now and there it is. We got the bus completely skinned. We got it primered. We got a couple windows installed. We got that transition done right there, which was the most difficult part to do initially. This side of the bus over here just has one little small window for now. The intention was always to put more windows in here. This is only as far as we got. 
Here's the back of the bus. The glass was actually taken out of the back windows and uh, skinned over. Got a little bit of moss starting to grow on the side there. That easily scrubs off. It's just been sitting for the last couple years. Why has it been sitting, you ask? Well, priorities change, people move. My stepdaughter Bailey actually lives in Chicago and she was only able to come down here, oh, once every couple months to work on it over a long weekend and uh, just uh, decided to go a different direction. The other reason I'm showing you this bus, as complete as it is sitting here at the moment, is because it's now for sale. There's the driver's seat. Here is the interior. Pretty barren, but if you look down, you've got two inch insulation, framed, five eighths inch thick, uh, tongue and groove flooring already in here. We still have a lot more insulation left over we can use on the walls and on the roof and the ceiling. We started to run uh, wood across the top to uh, skin the top there as well. We only got so far. As you can see, there's also skylights, brand new skylights installed. Those do not leak. We have a second window just like this one, that same size. You can put anywhere you want. The intention was always to put more windows in this, but we only got this far. There's another smaller window. There was going to be a bathroom here originally, and that's why there was a small window there for the bathroom. Got an upper AC unit that comes with it. A brand new toilet still in the box. A compost toilet. I uh, can't remember how many gallon that is, but that's your uh, fresh water tank. And there's some other things that come with it here as well. Some other windows. Um, all the specialty screws and things like that that... Uh, that are used bet between the wood and the metal. And the floor itself, this frame that's on the floor, that can be taken out if you want to change the layout of the bus itself. Obviously, you can take that out and do as you please. There's even the old bus windows if you want those. If not, those don't have to go with. The bus does run and drive. It's got a 354 big block gas engine. It's not a diesel. And, um, you know, gas mileage is not that great, but who really expects to get great gas mileage on a bus? <laughs> All right, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm sorry it took two years to get this episode out. I guess at the time that we filmed this, we didn't really think that too many people would be that interested in it since we're primarily a car channel. But we documented it to show Nathaniel's growth as a welder, and I'm glad we did. I mean, come on. Doing a bus roof raise is your first large project? I say that's not too shabby. Plus, it's convenient because now that the bus is for sale, I figured it's a good time to pull it out of the queue dust it off a little bit, show it to you guys, and then um, let you guys contact my stepdaughter Bailey if you're interested. I'll put a link in the description below uh, to the Facebook Marketplace ad. Just give her a call and let us know if you're interested. We'd love to see this thing go to a great home. All right, I guess that's finally it. Thanks for watching, guys. We always appreciate your support, even when it's bus content. And uh, we'll see you on the next episode. Take care.